that dream again. Yeah, it's not gonna stop. I think I'm just gonna have to build it. Sometimes I get an idea in my head where I have to drop everything and make it real. It doesn't matter if it's been done before. I have an image of what I want to build, so I go for it. So, what does it take to make something like this? Well, it isn't exactly something you buy off the shelf. Step one, research. It's the R in R&D. What has been done and how? What's possible? What's unrealistic? Whoa. That is super cool. Check this out. How does that work? Super cool. This might be a little bit out of our budget. More research, more ideas. Don't get distracted. Don't get obsessed either. Step two, design. Decision, decision, decision. Ever heard of decision fatigue? Apparently you can only make so many decisions in a day. Every little feature is a decision. And once you're out, you're done. And now, a... Did I order those? All right, whatever. Step three, build it. Solder paste, components, reflow. 3D print, doesn't work. 3D print, doesn't work. Third time's the charm. Assemble. You will definitely break at least one connector. These ribbon cables are an absolute nightmare to install. This is my favorite part. When it's all together. Step four, program. Try not to stay up all night. When you receive the package, the unit will require some assembly. Package contents, 12 volt power supply, 10 transparent OLED displays, untraceable 3D prints, microcontroller supplied as a Feather M4, custom 10X circuit board, the display communication protocol, SPI. Each display uses an individual chip select. Inertial measurement unit, MPU 6050. For everyone's favorite, Particle physics. Step five, now what? I don't know, that's up to you. But I do know one thing, we have this idea of what our future looks like, but we shape the future. What you do today affects tomorrow, and we're never gonna get there without your help. This is OCF.